No way, no way. You control the rewind. I'm Matthew Hall. And I'm James Corden. Joining us tonight, the Archbishop of Comedy, John Bishop. Yeah. 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 Matt, what if I say to you, Feltz is back? Vanessa you... Feltz is back. Wow, that's right, she's back, yes, yeah, she is! And my mate, Paul Burrell's Dirty Little Secrets, the studio audience. We'll be talking to that lot a little later, but first, after Brian Sewell's comment about us and the show from last night, we decided we'd raise the tone this evening. So, uh, we've, in that, you know, spirit, we've decided to call this part of the show the triple wank gag in one! <laughs> so, you're just in the bath having a wash and someone walks in. What's the first thing you say when you're just having a wash? <sighs> Oh my god, I wasn't masturbating, I was cleaning, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I wasn't masturbating, I wasn't masturbating, I wasn't masturbating. I was just, I was literally having a wash, just I washing. wasn't masturbating. Just washing. <laughs> in two! Whilst Victor was annoying his sister and everyone else in the country, Nathan couldn't help but make it clear how he felt about him. So, don't tell One, me two, I didn't listen. Three. You don't listen. <laughs> Subtle, okay. love it. Okay. In three! Now, Liam has been recently outed by Brian Sewell regarding his self-love and is now practising his onanism openly in front of the housemates. This, however, we feel is a step too far. Not in it's the really eyes. Low. Not in the yeah, eyes. stings in the eyes. <laughs> oh, OK, that's yeah, that yeah. part of the show wrapped <laughs> up. Don't just sit there claiming incapacity benefit. Use your phone to tell us your thoughts on Big Brother. Phone us, text us or email us your thoughts and messages via the website. So, you're sitting there in a Yates's wine lodge with your friends having fun, when all of a sudden someone catches your eye. And what's this? They're looking at you too. You look away, you look back, but they're still looking. You excuse yourself, you slide off your seat, you go over, you say hi. You buy them a drink, they buy you one. Before you know it, you're leaving together and going back to their place. A night of brutal passion follows and then the dating starts. <laughs> After a year or so, you move in, you propose, get married, go on honeymoon to Turkey. While on honeymoon in Turkey, however, it all unravels. You start to do some improvisation and that's the death of any relationship. <laughs> Check this. <laughs> For the team? Because you're all beautiful. Cheers. Salute. Salute. Everyone likes everyone in this house. It's just a game. I love everyone. Hey, I love everyone in here. <laughs> Jay, I can't believe you just did that! Jay, you're taking the piss. When you have arguments and with your sister, how do you think and we feel? He just doesn't respect anyone else's opinion. I hate that. Did I say I want Bye. to be a porn star? Did I say that? No. Guys, I'm not going to speak, I'm not going to shout at that all the time. Come on, guys. You're only friends with me to get my sister, I know that. Let's just hope he gets kicked out. I'm not joking. <laughs> that right? Sorry, piss at me! What do you mean it's not the election? They'll fucking disrespect me. We were having an argument. You're doing this improv to make me look stupid. That's what you're doing. I'm leaving this house tonight. I can't do it. We're fighting like animals. Oi, Latoya, fight, fight. get out. I'm I fucking serious. I just wanted to go and slap Latoya. Oi, get out. Your humour is disgusting. Oi. Get out. Oi. Get out. Oi. Victor! I don't care. Fuck the game. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh, I think it worked out, mate. I can't stay in this environment. I really have had enough. Well, me is finished. Then, as you said, honeymoon period is over. Exciting now, and we're midway through the series, and we just need to calm down and take stock. So we've decided to call this discussion "It's Halfway Great Expectations," or is it a Bleak House? Either way, there's still an Oliver Twist to come. <laughs> what the Dickens is going on? I mean, <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. It's just enough to make you want to give it all up. Isn't it? <laughs> I tell you what, though, tonight's episode for me, Vanessa, felt like it was. 
the first time we've seen kind of a Big Brother show that we kind of know and love. Do you know what I mean? It what was, did you think? Well, I thought it was fantastic. Yeah. I thought their nasty dark side came out, the malevolent, spiteful, jealous, horrible, into Nissan Warfare. That's what we know and love. That's why we want to watch the show. We want to see them bashing each other's brains out, being disrespected. I particularly love that. And improv, of course. I mean, that's fatal, it's isn't it? In any, any sense. Argument. Improv, that's what we've got to be aware. Don't try any improv at home, children. Certainly not. Just don't do it. No, no. John, it's lovely to have you on the show. Thank you. What did you think of tonight's show? It felt well, like it was cooking, didn't it? Oh, it was uh, exactly what Vanessa said. The big thing for me was the word improv. The fact, the fact that you're from a circus family must mean that everyone is scripted to do everything. Because all he said was not you've had a row, not you've had an argument, not you were pretending. All he kept on saying was improv, improv, in that kind of weird, well, I'll tell you what. Romanian accent he's got. <laughs> <laughs> We thought exactly the same, and we decided to sort of count up, if you like, how many times you used improv in that argument. Should we look at it now? Yes. Yeah. Should we look at it? Is it ready? Now, let's go. Oh, but it's improv. And that improv. You're doing improv, and I don't know about it. You're doing this improv. What are you doing this improv about? Your improv just made me look stupid. This improv. So your improv can really... <laughs> Eight times. Eight times. So this improv can really... Yeah. What do we think? Do we like it out there it's all when they start today, arguing guys. stuff? Is it fun? Isn't that great? Yeah. Is that what we want to see? Definitely. Definitely. It was a bit bland, wasn't it? And now it's all kicked off halfway through, it's all bubbling over. Yeah, it's really yeah. good. Are, are, we, are, we, are we getting the big brother we want to see? Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. what's going to happen now, you, you, you get to see everybody's real side. All this time they were just trying to be nice, blah, 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 but now they're problems. And now, you know, the glove's going to come off and everybody's going to be in each other's faces. Are they starting to feel the pressure halfway through, do you think? Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. just want to say, Mummy's watching. Come on, Emilia. Mummy's watching. <laughs> what? Oh, yes. What? Yes. But I mean, what was worse? Can I just say what was worse? And that there was not Mummy. Mary's watching yeah, this. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus' Mary's mother's watching, watching this, Victor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> We have, we have an email on that very subject that says, I love the new housemates. I always like to see people who aspire to be the best they can. And what a great bunch of role, role models you've got. Keep it rolling. That's from Sarah, who's 29 years old in Kent and says, P.S. I love the boxer. Are they role models? Are they role yeah, models really? For us? What do we yeah. think? Role models? I think they're definitely role models. They're really good. But, you know, obviously everyone has arguments, but I think they're amazing people. But they are quite stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, while we're on the subject of improv, can I just squeeze in here, my man? While we're on the subject of improv, there is literally only one man to talk to when we're talking about such a skill. He's the man who almost invented it, and he's back, and he's on the phone. It's Arthur Bostrom. Yeah! yeah. Arthur, how are you, baby? I'm very good, thank you. How's it going? It's going well, thanks. Yeah? What are you doing? Where are you? What are you wearing? I'm, well, I'm, I'm wearing my best for you. I'm here in Manchester. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> is, is your best the same as that picture message you sent me the other day? Yeah, yeah. Oh! You got it. God, good morning! Now... <laughs> Are, there, are you liking how the show's shaping up since when you came on quite it's with the It's kind stuff? of frying my brain, to be honest, because <laughs> I, li I liked it very much, what was that, and I thought, this is all very different, and now they've improv their way into a regular <laughs> Big Brother. Wasn't and it I'm ridiculous? I'm kind of wondering whether I like it. Uh, well, have you ever been involved in an improv that's turned into a row like that? I have, actually. I've actually done that sort of thing at, at drama school, and it can kick off like that if it goes too far. Because it's because um, Latoya was really, really good, and yeah. kind of too good. <laughs> she really. And when, and, and, and that improv at drama school, Boston. Did you did you end up just battering him? <laughs> no, no, and, and and I didn't react. Uh, I, I was uh, I, I was sort of in the victor position, but I didn't kind of throw You're all my. Such toys a good man, Boston. Oh God, love I love you so much. Thank you so <laughs> much Cheers, for calling Arthur. in. Arthur yeah. Boston, everybody. Yeah. Now, this, this format is new, obviously, to Big Brother. Are we enjoying it? Yes. yes. Yeah? Don't sound so chuffed, format. guys. I do like to see their, new, their actual real personalities coming through when they're having arguments, because you get to see all their real side to, them, to their personalities. And, but, and you think it's because, it's because the hijackers have shaken it up, right? Yeah, definitely, because the hijackers have shaken it up, and now they're starting to make situations for them to show their real personalities. Vanessa, Vanessa what do you think? Do you like this as a format? Do you I think it should come back? I, yeah, I love that whole mix of the celebs and the, and the housemates and this sort of thing. But I think they all seem to be picking on poor old Jeremy, and I don't really know why. I think Amy seems to be getting a fairly easy ride from them. Um, it's quite interesting to see which celeb likes which housemate and which housemate is intimidated by which celeb. It's good. It shakes it up nicely, I think. Is it a format we would like to see again? Yeah. 
Yeah. Really? Yeah. 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 To lose, they have so much more to lose. They've got their careers that they're trying to build up, and they can't. They have to be very careful of the things that they say. We can see them starting to slip up now as they get quite comfortable. It's really good. I like it. Wow, love it. These are interesting, interesting no. things. Okay. Earlier on today, uh, the hijacker Keith Lemon sent one of his mates into the house. Let's see it now. Someone's at the door. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh All right. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> you can't talk about anything from the outside world, can you? Uh, only bits, but they've told me not to touch anyone. How's the show looking? Them. But how old are you? I'm 12, so... <laughs> 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 Have you played fives before? Huh? Fives? Fives. Yeah. yeah, tell him how to play fives, John. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God! Yeah! Wow, there and you can go. see all of that tomorrow night. That was quite some debate we had there. I, for one, was touched by some of the comments. If you want to touch me, call this number. <laughs> I, for one, am always getting into arguments about improv. We know that. It's a subject close to my heart. During this next item, our audience will be revealing what their last argument was about. And while you watch us cleanse our souls, we'll be showing you a biography of Mr Improv, Clive Anderson. It's, it's the, the mouthpiece. This is Rebecca under an alias. Keep victoring cos he's hot, hot, hot. Kick Liam out cos he's boring, is he not? I was going to jail for my and years ago and that was in my mouth and I thought that they did it at summer because it was so funny. I think they're away and they have me stitches every time they do it. Everything they do is so funny. So, yeah. So, that's all I want to tell you, eh? Hi. Can't see what all this fuss about aim is about. She's about as interesting as watching paint dry, and she's as much depth um, as the puddle that's just formed outside our window. Amelia, she's very made of elastic, isn't she? In fact, she's the only contestant I know who, in the event of a nuclear war, she could stick her own head up her own ass and kiss it goodbye. Wow, I've got which cat dumped on the floor. <laughs> And what's your order to eat? I tell you what, the only way to get, get this back. Who wants some ads? Yeah? Do you want some ads? Yeah, yeah, yeah. ads? yeah? Well, they're coming right now for glorious minutes of adverts. Give them to me now! In a hijack situation, should you always comply with the hijacker's demands? I don't know, I hope I'm never hijacked. <laughs> Felt and this lot, who only have to concentrate for another 30 minutes, it's the studio audience. Yeah! Okay, guys, um, want to see something really funny? Yes. Watch this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to see it again? Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> want to see it in slow mo? I'd love to. Yeah. Let's do it. Now, we, me and James, had a girly sleepover last night with Owen Wilson and sex comedian Steve Coogan. During our midnight feast, talk turned inevitably to the new Sex and the City film. Now, we knew it was set in Inverness, but couldn't for the life of us remember all the towns that Inverness was twinned with. We got Augsburg in Germany and Le Ball in France, but the third one eluded us. We ummed and we ahed, and eventually Owen said, sod it, let's just get on the night bus and ask everyone in Inverness. That's only what we bloody went and did. It'd be quite fun to see Gordon Brown hijack Scotland. He already does. <laughs> oh, Brad Pitt. <laughs> That's for George selfish reasons. Yeah. Selfish reasons. Oh, Brad Pitt. I'd like to see him. Who's a really cute Scottish actor? Oh, oh, James McAvoy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mr. T. I don't know why. He's got gold. How would you react if Scotland was hijacked? Quite chillfully. Yeah. You know, whatever. Depends what they were going to do. Sometimes they're going to look after us. Yeah. Yeah. Have well, a good it's time. It's a lovable country, not like using English. <laughs> oh, stop. Freak <laughs> out. Scream. 
Start a fight. Come on, let's go. Let's go fucking mental. <laughs> or scream, run and hide. I don't know. I don't know. I, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. Now, the next bit of the show is going to be a discussion about Liam. Now, it'll be all very easy for all of us to do a link into the VT now, littered with references to masturbation. But that will be a cheap shot. So what I'm going to do is take this matter into my own hands and hopefully deliver a serious link come introduction to this VT. <laughs> now, hopefully this change of presenting style won't give you a stroke and you'll realise that this took a lot of balls not just to toss in some lame gags. <laughs> Watch right. this as you relax in a gentleman's way, etc. <laughs> Hey, um, my name's Liam Young. I started my first business when I was eight years old. Um, oh, yeah. What? Hey, Liam's quite cool. He seems to like quite a sort of quiet chap. Oh my God, Liam, you look so cute. Are you enjoying your time in the house? I love every minute of it. I love you guys. Did you hear this impression of you? No, I love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's, um, it's intense being here, you know? I feel so dumb in this house. I sometimes feel a little bit like there's something in my ear, and then I look round and Liam's kind of smiling really close next to me. <laughs> Do you have many sexual partners? It, it works out like about 40 guys and about 20 girls. What See you now, like... man. I thought you were quite heroic. Having a wank. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, I think. Liam. It took your career into your own hands. Hello in there, boys and girls. Right, we've told this discussion. The amiable or unfriend Liam. <laughs> We're going to boldly and go where no conversation Liam has gone before. Conversation? That doesn't even work. What is that? I quit. <laughs> well, it's lovely to have you back, Hello darling. There. Well, I, I, I thought at the beginning... You don't even know what I'm going to ask you. Yeah, she's straight in. I love you. I'm trying to save you all the time. Let's talk about Liam. All right. At the, at the beginning, I thought we were sort of Liam mentable, but now I think he's oh. really quite lovable, little sweetheart. Liam mentable, you get don't, what I want. Don't you think he's a bit like a little Furby? You know, remember those little Furbies? <laughs> he's a bit like that. I mean, he's got all that hair and everything. He looks like a little he's hamster. He's right, isn't he? Poor thing. Poor, you've got to love the little fellow, I think. Don't be nasty to him. He's I all love right. that. Bishop, what are we saying about Liam? I don't know. I mean, I agree with you. He is very, very hairy. He's got as much hair. <laughs> he is. He's got That's as much. Cute. That's it. Yeah. Well, he's got as much hair on his eyebrows as he has on his head. Aww. To be honest, he's just trying to make them link up. But I think as a kid, he's, 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 he's 19. He's going to have a wank. He's got to rock yes, himself asleep, exactly. hasn't he? That's, that's what happens. If there's any 19-year-old boys watching this who don't wank of a night, you go and have a chat with somebody. There's something wrong with you. <laughs> Thanks, John. Very, very similar thoughts to Lembit Opic MP from last night. <laughs> uh, now, Liam's not really connected with the group, has he? Why is yeah, that? Yeah, why do we think he's not really connected in there? Vanessa, what a great point about Furbies, but I'm sorry, if my mum bought me a Furby that sat there and went... <laughs> <laughs> I don't think this world would have been a very good place. I think, get out under the covers, man, and make some friends. I mean, whoever sits there and goes, hi, I've uh, had about 1,000 male partners and about 8,000 women partners, you're going to be like, no, no, oh, stop but ragging. Is he, but is, he, is, is he not just saying that stuff yes. to kind of try and fit in? He's yeah, just a young 19-year-old yeah, yeah. lad, yeah. isn't he? Yeah. I, go on, fudge up, baby. Um, he spends too much time on the internet, and I think all his lovers are virtual <laughs> lovers. Yeah, They're I. not real lovers. But that is... He needs to get out and meet real people. <laughs> yeah. But do we think he does need to get out and meet real yeah. people, and that's yeah. why he hasn't yeah. really connected yeah. properly? Yeah. Yeah. He's got social interaction problems. <laughs> right, OK. I mean, do you think it's hard for him because he doesn't actually have a skill to kind of show off in there with, you know? He's no. an emo man. He's an emo. Come on, let's show that skill off. I mean, have come have on. Under the bed sheets. Oh, come on. Oh. Is anyone else feeling sorry for Liam right now? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Over here. Okay. He's, he's, he's endearing, you know, he's willing to get out there, have a bit of a Tommy Tank under the covers, you know, <laughs> and I'll, I'll cheer up, you know, singing Boat Boy Zone in the bath. Brilliant. Yeah. I loved it. With another he's got guy. a good voice. Mm. <laughs> the, the hijackers have been quite tough on him in the last couple of days with. Brian Sewell, you know, talking about his intellectual honesty and then Joan Rivers using it as a reason to put him up for nomination. Do you feel for him at all? 
I definitely feel for him. I mean, he's only 19 years old, exactly. and the poor guy, he's, you know, he's, he hasn't got the social skills. He's been, you know, playing with a computer since he was eight. You've got to give him a break, you know. I think people, someone should take him under his wing and show him some social skills and get him pissed. Just get him absolutely rat assed Let's get him a real woman, baby. Now, as you know, uh, Keith Lemon was today's hijacker. Watch his mate hijack Liam's hairdo. If you can do your hair properly, so if, yeah, like that. But this is how you do it properly, like that, <laughs> like this. That. That looks better. You did it better like You've that. You've got to get your nose on there. <laughs> That's better. That. And then... Oh wow! Thank you. It's all right. There he is. Oh, wow. Is, could he, could Vanessa, could he win the show? Could he win it? Well, maybe he no, should. No. I mean, John, could he win it or will he go? He's splitting the vault. I think he's splitting the vault. So, yeah, I think he could. Yeah. Anyone here think yeah. he's going to go this week? Yes. 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 There's two evictions, remember. Do you think he's, he's in danger? OK, well, there we go. Easy That's go. all from us tonight. Uh, we've just got time to say a big thanks to our guests, John Bishop and Vanessa Phelps. <laughs> Studio audience will be back same time tomorrow. Join Derma at 7:30 for BBLB. Don't you dare watch anything else on TV ever. Malam, baby, Malam. <laughs> Amelia, Jeremy, Liam, and Victor face eviction from the Big Brother house. Who goes? You decide. To evict Amelia, call 090112122204. To evict Jeremy, call 09011-212207. To evict Liam, call 09011-212210. To evict Victor, call 09011-212212. It's a double eviction, so the two who get the most votes will go. At least 10 p from each call will be donated to charity, details of which can be found at channel4.com forward slash big brother.